Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dachi coming right at you from beautiful Costa Rica. In today's video, I would like to discuss my personal cons about living in Costa Rica. I don't like to talk negative about Costa Rica. However, wherever you live has its downsides, so we're going to discuss it today. Now, if you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat and I have been living in Costa Rica for the last 15 years years if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so and make sure to tick that little bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a new video all right let's get into it the biggest frustration i have is with the bureaucracy in this country so for example if you um if you just moved here and you need to get your driver's license or you want to start the process of your residency, uh, anything like that, it is a lengthy, unnecessary process. There's so many rules. They change the rules in the middle of the process. And of course the customer service is, is just bad. I don't know how else to put it. So everything becomes a lengthy process. Um, there's no logic to it, of course. Uh, the same goes with uh, any bank, um, any like if you have to go to your cable company, like often like I have problems with my internet company. So I go in there, I actually change my um, internet company. <laughs> now I have a worse one. Those are all the things that are just um, frustrating, you know, like you have to take it. You have to try to take it lightly because else the frustration might get to you. Um, but if I could change anything here in Costa Rica, it would be that things run with a little bit more logic <laughs> and, um, and better customer service. In fairness, like obviously customer service depends on the training that people get. Like if you go to a, to a bank here, the customer service is, you know, from what we're used to in the U.S. and certain countries in Europe is just different and they're not being trained so they don't know any better but it's just frustrating when clearly they're not handling a complaint the right way so that is one reason uh, one con of living in costa rica um my second con would definitely be um the costa rica government and especially this one because right now it's not doing anything or seriously from the start to benefit the growth of this country or its people. This year specifically is a difficult year, which for any government, I'm sure would be very difficult to deal with um, a pandemic. However, uh, this government decided to raise taxes left and right. So the way they communicated the thing, it was just, um, yeah, it, it was, it was not so good, let me put it that way. Uh, another pet peeve I have is that um, government employees make double than what a regular employee makes. And then one person's job is done by four. So it takes four people to do one person's job. You know, it's completely unnecessary. So the budget for the employees, the, empl the government employees is, is huge, but completely unnecessary. You know, you could obviously make that more efficient and have more money go towards education or infrastructure. Um, which leads me to my next point. The infrastructure is my third con of living in Costa Rica. Is, um, yeah, the roads are really mediocre here. I've, I mean, I've seen worse, but, you know, there's no signs. And sometimes there's signs that are not even correct. So, um it doesn't really bother me, to be honest, but it's definitely a con. And then my final con is the fact that, unfortunately, all the houses here are um, gated, so so to speak, with old like fences and barbed wire. They have like the bars in front of the window. And not only does it not look nice, it doesn't feel nice either. Uh, it's all over Latin America. It's completely normal. I get it. It's safety. Like if you don't have it, you have to deal with theft, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't feel nice. Um, I'm now sort of used to it. Uh, but every time I get a visitor, 
um, they immediately see it like, oh, that's too bad. Is that really necessary? And unfortunately, it is. A lot of people uh, decide to live in a gated community. I don't. But yeah, my house has has the bars in front of the windows and I have electrical fans and it is what it is. I, I really don't like to be negative about Costa Rica. I've been living here for 15 years and I obviously love it. I feel so grateful for my life. Um, if I had to do the same video by my own country, the Netherlands, I'd probably, you know, stand here all day. Number 15, con of living in Netherlands. Um, but here you have it. These are my four cons about living in Costa Rica. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please help me out and subscribe and click that little bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao from Costa Rica.